We have solved question number P9 in the last video. There is one more thing to add here. Suppose in 2030, there was a decrease of 8 percentage. So what will happen? Instead of writing 1 plus 8 by 100, all you have to do is to write 1 minus 8 by 100. I hope you understood this question. Let's move on to the next one. Question number P10, two candidates contested in an election if one got 520 votes, which was 65 percentage of votes, what was the total number of votes? So let the total number of votes be X. So 65 percentage of X, which means 65 by 100 into X is equal to 520. So X is equal to 520 divided by 65 into 100. You can divide by 13, 5, 4, 0, 5, 1 and 8. So total becomes 800. Option E, 800 is the answer. Question number P11, 56 percentage of a number is 1064. What is 38 percentage of the number? So let the number be X, 56 by 100 into X is equal to 1064. X is equal to 1064 divided by 56 into 100. No need to calculate this. Let's the rest of the question asks us to find 38 percentage of the number. So 38 by 100 into x will be equal to 38 by 100 into 1064 divided by 56 into 100. So 100, 100 get cancelled. 56 and 38, 19, 28. You can divide by 4, you will get 7. 2, 2, 6, uh, 2, 6, 6, 2, 4, 6. Divide by 7, you will get 1 and uh, 3. 5, 6 is 8. 38 into 19. 38 into 20 is uh, 760. So 760 minus 38 would give 722. So option D is the answer. Question number P12. If the numerator of a fraction is increased by 200 percentage and denominator increased by 300 percentage. So, so let the fraction be X by Y. The question says there is an increase of 200 percentage for the numerator. So it becomes X plus 200 by 100 into X all divided by the denominator is increased by 300 percentage which means y plus 300 by 100 into y the resultant fraction is equal to 20 by 31 so this will become 2 and this will become 3 you will get 3x divided by 4y is equal to 20 by 31 x by y is equal to 80 divided by 3 into 31 is 93 so our original fraction x by y is equal to 80 by 93. Question number P13. The length and breadth of a rectangle are changed by 20 percentage and minus 10 percentage respectively. So let the initial length and breadth be L and B. The length is increased by 20 percentage. So the initial value was L. It is increased by 20 percentage which means L is increased by 20 percentage of L. 120L divided by 100 which is 1.2L. Same goes for B and you will get it as a 0.9B. There is a decrease of 10 percentage. The question is to find the percentage change in area of the rectangle. The initial area is L into B and the area now is 1.2L into 0.9B. So 1.2 into 0.9 means 1.08LB. So it changed from LB to 1.08LB. So what is the percentage change? To find the percentage change, all you have to do is to find the change 1.08 LB minus LB all divided by the initial value which is LB into 100. So it becomes 0.08 L into B divided by L into B. It gets cancelled into 100 which is 8 percentage. So option C is the answer. Question number 14. The cost of producing a smartphone is made of four components E, F, G and H which have a ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5 is to 6 respectively. If there are respective changes in the cost by 10 percentage, minus 20 percentage, minus 30 percentage and plus 40 percentage, what is the percentage change in the cost? So overall percentage change in the cost is asked here. To do that, let's assume that the cost of each component is 30, 40, 50 and 60. We are following the same ratio as this and assuming the value as 30, 40, 50 and 60. Now change for E is 10 percentage. 10 percentage of 30 is 3. It is plus 10 percentage so it becomes 33. Next is minus 20 percentage. 20 percentage of 40 is 8. Minus 8 it will become 32. 30 percentage of 50 is 15. So it becomes 50 minus 15. It is 35. 
For H, it is 40 percentage increase, which means 40 percentage of 60 is 24. It becomes 60 plus 24, 84. So this was the initial value and this is the final value after change. So all you have to do is add these four numbers and find the difference and find the percentage change. 30 plus 40 is 70, 120, 180. And after change, it becomes 33 plus 32, 65, 100. 184. So the question is to find the percentage change in cost which is 184 minus 180 divided by initial cost which is 180 into 100 which become 4 by 180 into 100 0 40 by 18. So divided by 18 it becomes 1 and this will become 2 point remainder is 4 it becomes 2. So option B 2.22 percentage is the answer. I hope you understood these questions. We will do tougher questions in the coming videos. Please like and share these videos to people who might find it useful. Stay safe and see you again.